Hey, this is Mark Howe from Here and Beyond, and in this video, I'm going to take you through not one, not two, but six of the top alien abduction stories I've ever come across. We're going to start off with one of the earliest known abduction stories ever recorded, and of course, one of the most famous that was ever publicized. But before you get into that, before you go anywhere, if you want to be updated on everything, please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you want to get updates when my videos are available, please click on the bell icon as well. The terms annual abductions or abduction phenomena describes objectively real memories of being taken secretly against one's will by apparently non-human entities and subjected to complex physical and psychological procedures. Such abductions have sometimes been classified as close encounters of the fourth kind. People claiming to have been abducted are usually called abductees or experiencers. Typical claims involve being subjected to forced medical examinations that emphasize abductee reproductive systems. Abductees sometimes claim to be warned against environmental abuse and the dangers of nuclear weapons. While many of these claimed encounters are described as terrifying, some have been viewed as pleasurable or transformative. The first alleged alien abductions claimed to be widely publicized was the Betsy and Buddy Hill abduction in 1961 and has had people fascinated ever since. With many new stories still coming out today and regardless of their divinity, it has become apparent that abductees are experiencing terrifying experiences even years later after the events. 1. Amy Rydance, Australia Amy Rydance, then 22, her husband Keith and her friend Petra were at the Rydance's home in Australia in October 2001. Petra was woken at 11.15pm and went into the living room where she was horrified to find Amy being carried out in a sleeping position out through the window and on a beam of light to a huge ship outside. Petra woke Keith, but by the time he entered the room, Amy was gone. The curtain was torn and bushes outside were burnt. The pair phoned the police, who struggled to take the claim seriously. However, around 90 minutes later, Keith received a phone call from a woman in McKay, Queensland, an eight-hour drive away. She said she was with Amy, who was in hospital, dazed and dehydrated. No one could explain how she travelled such a distance in such a short time. Amy was uninjured, except for red marks on her upper thighs and heels. She said she remembered laying on a bed with tall figures leaning over her, reassuring her and taking samples. When she was found, her body hair had grown considerably, suggesting she had been gone for much longer than the few short hours she was missing. 2. The Abduction of Jesse Long Jesse Long was just five years old when he says he was abducted by aliens for the first time. He was exploring the woods with his brothers when they came upon a round structure in a clearing. A tall figure appeared and paralysed the boys. Jesse remembers being taken into the craft and placed on a cold table. He could feel the figures around him poking and prodding his legs. Over the next few years, Jesse says he was abducted repeatedly. He claims he was experimented on, including having sperm extracted that was used to crossbreed with a female alien. In 1990, he says the aliens presented him with a baby, which they said was his. He has also met nine more of his hybrid children. Jesse, now 65, says he knows many people won't believe his story, but insists he is telling the truth. Number 3. Barney and Betty Hill Case Barney and Betty Hill were driving back from a holiday in Niagara Falls in September 1961. They noticed a light in the sky which got closer eventually appearing as a huge shape hovering above their car. Barney got out and through his binoculars says he saw 11 humanoid figures in shiny black uniforms and capes watching them. Terrified, the couple drove off. However, they both claimed to have experienced a buzzing sensation and when they finally arrived home at dawn, the four hour journey had taken seven hours. The hill's clothes were torn in strange places and Betty found a mysterious pink powder on her dress. She began to have intense dreams about the experience, in which skin samples were taken from her and a needle thrust into her navel. Later, she drew a star map, which she said she had been shown by the aliens. Barney and Betty Hill were respected in their community. Barney was involved in the civil rights movement and Betty was a social worker. No one had any reason to suspect they were lying. 4. 
the Travis Walton UFO incident. In November 1975, six forestry workers in Arizona reported seeing their colleague Travis Walton blasted through the air in a beam of lights from a UFO above the trees. The workers reported Walton missing, and the police suspected he had been murdered by the group who had disposed of his body. But five days later, Walton reappeared, claiming he had been abducted by aliens. He described waking on a table surrounded by small figures in orange gowns. Their skin was smooth and chalky, and their bald heads were too large for their bodies. They had huge, shiny brown eyes. Walton escaped from the aliens and fled through the ship. He eventually met more humans on board, dressed in a blue uniform. They didn't speak to him, but forced a gas mask onto his face, so he lost consciousness. Walton claims the next thing he remembers was waking up in a shaky and confused way on a roadside in Arizona. 5. The Attempted Abduction of Colonel Shaw This is one of the earliest reported alien encounters and was written up by the Stockton Evening Mail in 1896. Colonel H.G. Shaw was travelling with a companion by horse and carriage towards Lodi in California. Suddenly the horses startled and they saw three strange beings at the side of the road. The creatures were slender and humanoid in appearance, but seven foot tall and bald except for velvet soft down that covered their bodies. They didn't speak but warbled to one another as if they were chanting. They held lamps that shone unnaturally bright and seemed to be formed from some sort of glowing mineral. Shaw said the creatures possessed a strange and indescribable beauty. The aliens attempted to lift Shaw and he felt they wanted to carry him away, but he was way too heavy for them. Eventually they moved away, floating just above the ground. Shaw followed them until they reached a huge scar-shaped spaceship in the air. The creatures flew up to it, disappearing inside a door. The ship departed and was soon lost from sight. 6. Henry Porter, Wales, UK Henry Porter from Wales claims to be abducted by aliens countless times through her life. At five years old, she remembers playing in the long grass behind her home. A reptilian alien appeared. It had scaly skin and black holes for a nose and mouth. It was five foot tall and exceptionally strong. It grabbed Hillary and carried her to the disc-shaped ship. Porter was stripped and placed on a bed, then prodded with various instruments. At that point, she says, she blacked out. After all her abductions, Porter suffers piercing migraines and she has sometimes woken with bruises, scratches and even bloodstains on her clothes. Porter, who once worked at the Ministry of Defence, has made drawings based on the memories of her alien encounters. She says the beings communicate with each other telepathically and have been sent to extract human genetic material on Earth.